need a partner in federal government to step up. Somebody has to have a sense of urgency. And make sure you join me every Friday and Tuesday, or Tuesday and Friday at 9.30 p.m. on my other channel, Ock Nation TV, for the live stream. We talk, stream yard, you can come through, and anybody can come through, all are welcome. We're trying to get more ladies to come join the chat. Um, but everybody's welcome. We have some really good conversations over there, you know. One thing we were talking about last week was the lack like of self-awareness that sun people have. Like it's almost as if self-awareness is like I mean lack of self-awareness is part of being a sun person. And this guy, like, do you understand that you guys asked for this? And now you're yelling at the federal government? Donald Trump, they called Donald Trump a racist for saying send the federal government into Chicago. Anybody remember that? Hit one if you remember that. Donald Trump was, he was that, that was one of the major like knocks on him during the campaign trail that he was racist. Oh, what did he say that was racist? He said, send the feds into Chicago. <laughs> Where 90% of the people who are getting killed are sun people. And fast forward a year later. We need a partner in federal government to step up. Somebody has to have a sense of urgency. Both outrage and defeat tonight in Hyde Park after a midday shootout leaves trauma in its wake. No one was shot, but bullets hit businesses and came close to a well-known community activist. As Sally Schulze reports, this means one popular spot is closing its doors. Bullets shattered the front window of Kilwins in Hyde Park, and owner Jackie Jackson says that may shutter this chocolate shop. None of my staff feel comfortable with coming back, or do I feel comfortable with requiring them to come back. It's a tough decision. I don't want to do it. So I'm not going to say I'm leaving, but I'm closing. I would not be open up for the rest of the year. Jackie Jackson. She got her little chocolate business. Salute to the sister, man. I see supremacy didn't hold her back. She must have got some of that Goldman Sachs money. <laughs> you notice you never hear sisters online talking about, I signed up for that Goldman Sachs money. <laughs> They're not even signing up for that Goldman Sachs money. All that money that they gave away. But still, sisters are still creating businesses and they got the PPP loans and all that stuff. So they did they 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 did excellent with the PPP loans. But I want to hear some some um testimonials about that Goldman Sachs money, man. Like that was a lot of money that they just and only at sisters like a Sun Man can't get a dime, a Glacier Glider can't get a dime, no Brito can't get a dime, a Crouching Tiger can't get a dime, only sisters. Um but you know, that is what it is. Now, sister, who has it to where you can't, you don't feel safe coming to work and your employees don't feel come safe, safe coming to work? Who is it? Who's, the, like, crime, okay, crime, but who's committing the crime? Who's shooting haphazardly and randomly where bullets are just flying everywhere with no regard to anybody, like, just disrespectful, reckless shooting everywhere. Who's doing that? Sister? Do it. 
So I'm not going to say I'm leaving, but I'm closing. I would not be open up for the rest of the year. Police say Kilwins was hit along with the hotel across the street and multiple vehicles along Harper near 53rd when someone sprayed this busy area with bullets Tuesday at lunchtime. Shots ring out. Uh, 50 shots ring out in an automatic weapon. So I run for my life. A 100-yard sprint. Jamal Cole returned to the scene where he ran for his life. The community activist who's running for Congress is clearly shaken up and fed up. Y'all don't have a sense of urgency because y'all ain't never had that feeling in y'all stomach y'all gonna die. Y'all ain't never had that sense of urgency. You ain't never ran for your life and ducked under a car. Well, <laughs> Jamal, that's not true. Like, they sprayed the block at lunchtime. <laughs> and they do this all the time. Gliders are always running for cover. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. And, and you guys, share these videos so Jamal can see what's really going on. Gliders are always running, doing 100-yard dashes. Now, maybe not as fast as you guys. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Their neighborhoods have been invaded, too. The party's over for them. It was usually isolated to your neighborhood, Jamal. But since 2020, their neighborhoods have been overrun. Y'all don't have a sense of urgency because y'all ain't never had that feeling in y'all stomach y'all gonna die. Right. Y'all ain't never had that sense of urgency. You ain't never ran for your life and ducked under a car. Even though no one was hit or killed in this shooting, many here say that the damage and the shock of it leaves a ripple effect of trauma spreading through the community. Coming out of a pandemic, now into a war zone, it's just really, it's, it's, mental, it's mental stress. Kelwin's already dealt with looting at their Michigan Avenue store. Now Jackson says supply shortages, staffing trouble, high rent plus a shot out window it's all too much still she has hope something good may come out of this in terms of the community getting together we all claiming this community back that's key because after almost 10 years in business here she sees sweeter days ahead for hyde park sally schulze fox 32 chicago to attend empty shelves on every wall as thieves targeted a shoe store in south kansas city or Midtown, we should say, one pair buys, sells, cleans, and customizes shoes. It's also designed and operated by our local kids. KSHB 41 reporter Megan Abundis is joining us now in the studio. You know, Megan, this one cuts deep. I know you were in the store today to see just how staggering things were. Yeah, it was empty, cleared out completely. Now, one pair isn't just a shoe or a clothing store. It's an education center run by the youth of Kansas City. An opportunity to teach money, ethics, life lessons, conversations, and experiences you're not getting going to get in a classroom. Now, not to mention they donate back to the community. So to see these teenagers hard work go from this to empty it's devastating empty shoe racks livelihood something that the youth created something jaron thornhill and these teens work for every day the store a part of their heart and soul about 110 120 plus shoes uh classic shoes new shoes uh shoes, shoes we customize, shoes worth a lot of money. We're talking $50,000 worth of inventory stolen, caught on camera. Why this store? Why? Why us? Who you think, who you think stealing this stuff from these kids, stole this stuff from these kids? Because I'm at the point where I don't feel sorry for you unless you're going to tell me who, who did it. Who doing it? Who stole all this stuff from these kids? In Kansas City, which is a very violent city. I've done so many stories. Kansas City is violent, violent, Jack. <laughs> who still who stole these shoes from these kids in Kansas City? Supremacists? Proud boys? Trump supporters? $50,000 worth of inventory stolen, caught on camera. Why this store? Why? Why us? KJ Farmer is one of the teen owners. He found the damage. I just got robbed. Take care of them. A 
a broken door, empty racks, and a mess in their new store. We're trying to bless more people. It's coming up towards the holidays, giving shoes out and things of that nature. So they're really taking away from the people in the community. So it's bigger than us. It's not a monetary value. They took our dignity. They took the hard work, the countless hours we can't get back, the effort. If they would have known that one pair is a chance, we provide that chance for everybody. They could have just came and asked us, you know, for opportunity, for some shoes, uh, for some clothes. Brother, they don't want your opportunity. They don't want your services. They don't want your job training. They don't want, unless they could come in there and say, can we have all these shoes for free? They don't want it. Okay? You have to, y'all got to get to this point, man, where y'all understand what y'all dealing with. If y'all not going to say who's doing it, and y'all know who's doing it, if you're going to will, willfully admit who's doing it, omit who's doing it. At least show some, like, ability to know what you're dealing with, bro. Like, this brother looked like he from, he, he, he been around the block a few times, man. He don't look like no square to me. They don't want your services, man. They don't want your help. Those guys, not the kids that you got down there, because obviously they, those are decent kids and probably a lot of good kids, too. The ones that are out here terrorizing the streets of everywhere. <laughs> I can't even say the stand. They're doing it everywhere. They don't want that. Stop offering it to them. It, it just sounds, it's, at this point, it sounds weak and misguided. Like you don't know what you're dealing with. If they would have known that one pair is a chance, we provide that chance for everybody. They could have just came and asked us, you know, for opportunity, for some shoes, uh, for some clothes. But something the thieves don't have, these boys' relentless positivity and determination. Look at these boys, man. You can tell these are all hood boogers, man. And he was able to salute to that guy for being able to grab these kids. Because these, these, these are all hood boogers, man. But they... He got them doing something positive, so I will give that brother credit for, for you know, being able to, because I hate when they say, if I could just save one kid, no. If you could just save one, you don't deserve this grant. <laughs> you don't deserve this million dollar grant, this $500,000 grant that these cities is giving away like raffle tickets to all these programs and groups. In these cities, you don't deserve it. If you could just, I could just save one kid, then I've done my. No, you need to save a bunch of kids. So salute to this brother for that. But something the thieves don't have: these boys' relentless positivity and determination. Another lesson for Thornhill to push forward. You know, they say you build it, they'll come. Not just good, bad too. Um, and understand that you know people take slaps on the wrist. You know, you get tripped all the time, but it's about getting up, looking forward, and keep pushing. Who thinks the Kansas City Kneelers? I mean, my bad. Who thinks the Kansas City Chiefs? Well, like, what they spend on drinks at the club after practice as a team. The bill at a restaurant after they go out after a game. And I, listen, I've been out with these teams after the game. I told y'all, my, my, my wife, she has a cousin that's, plays you know for one of the teams and when he invites us to the games we go down to the game and then we go in the vip area with the family and whatnot and after the game we they go to these nice restaurants and i mean the bill is like it's all of them like maybe five or six or the guys that hang out their, their girlfriends you know maybe some other family members I mean, elegant, high class, they, and they have their own room. Like, they block off a whole part of the restaurant for these guys. And the bill's what? <laughs> bill maybe $10,000. Because drinks and hors d'oeuvres and it's a fine restaurant, so everything, like, is super expensive. You know what I mean? But, 
Yeah. Valet, all this. Who thinks the Kansas City Kneelers or even LeBron? With LeBron. Help these kids out. Help this brother out, man. I know I was critical of this brother, but, you know, like, it is what it is, man. Like, I ain't here to play games, man. But who's here to help the, who's who's here to help this brother out, man? These young brothers that, you know, who's here to help them out, man? You can't say you don't know. Sure, but this is this is a big story in Kansas City. I've um it's all over the news down there. These brothers ain't acting for they ain't asked for nothing. They built this on their own. Now you see why I bang on these athletes the way I do? Police are looking into this, but no one's been caught. The one pair youth are determined to reopen for their one year anniversary. That's in just a few weeks. You can help them quite literally start all over. They have a GoFundMe page for the shop. You can find it on KSHB.com. I'm Megan Abundis. Back to you guys. Megan, I can tell you firsthand, these are good kids that mean well. Thanks for that update. We should also mention one pair is actually our partner for the Gift of Soul fundraiser. So we want to assure you here that none of the donations were impacted in the theft. All right. So I know you guys were wondering what the GoFundMe was looking like. Okay, so their goal is 40000 They got 18000 Salute to all the glacier gliders down there in Kansas City. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. You can just tell by the names. These are gliders. These are all gliders donating his money. Kathleen Call. Richard Farnan. Salute to you. <laughs> Caroline Barnes. Stephanie Kendrew, Michael Helmstetter, <laughs> salute to you, Charles Wunsch, <laughs> salute to all you people, man, Chris Grebowicz, Kate Bender, <laughs> Kelsey Perry, Susan Brashears, Jessica Ann, Daniel Carlson, Luke Wetzel, Susanna Peck. <laughs> Deanna Bellu. Salute to all these people, man. These people deserve to be shouted out, man. Edward Fried. Okay, Ty Lee Williams. He put in 10. Salute to Ty Lee, man. That's the first Sun Man name I can... Well, son person name actually could, you know. Blair Shulman. Sam Suto. Lauren Steinfeld. Carolyn Finkendove. Salute to all these gliders, man. The Kriegy family. Clacy Alcine. Salute to all these people, man. Jordan Lemming. Salute to all these people, man. All these gliders, man, that donated all this money for these little sun teams to get their little shop back, man. <laughs> they getting it the organic way. They ain't getting no <laughs> lump sum from no celebrity or ball player. <laughs> They getting it dollar for dollar from the Glacier Glider community in Kansas City. Hit the like button. Share these videos. Subscribe. Join me Friday, Tuesday, 9.30, Ock Nation TV. Hit the cash app, the PayPal, the Super Chat. Peace.